Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me today. Now I'm off to see my dad this morning. I'm not allowed in to see him but it's a window visit. So I thought I'd put some makeup on and show you this new palette which arrived yesterday from Charlotte Tilbury. So yes I did get the third palette even though I'm still very annoyed at them. Um, just to remind any of you that haven't watched before, haven't seen my previous review of these palettes, the reason that I'm annoyed is because these are 2.8 grams instead of their usual 5.2 grams, so nearly half the size, and yet they're £42, so it works out quite an expensive palette. Now, just to say that I did contact Charlotte Tilbury, I got a very unsatisfactory response really, not an explanation as to why, whether there's a formula change or anything, just we're sorry that you were disappointed and we'll take your comments in consideration for the future. So there's no explanation. Some people have suggested um, that it is like the very first palette that Charlotte did or one of the first ones, which is the only one that I don't have called Fallen Angel which if you remember when I um, first reviewed these last week, I said that one of them reminded me of Fallen Angel. Um, and apparently, although I don't have Fallen Angel, it's the only one I don't have, apparently Fallen Angel was the same size. It was 2.8 grams. Now Fallen Angel worked better. It was kind of a wet dry shadow, which would explain why some people are saying the formulas changed I'm still not sure that it has. Uh, jury's out on that one, so you know, I'll just have to keep testing them and I'll let you know. But just in case it has, I'm gonna put a color chameleon underneath. And I thought the perfect color chameleon would be this copper light, which as you know, was a, a limited edition that was only in the advent calendar. But thankfully, due to one of my alley pallies tipping me off, someone was selling it on eBay because I didn't want to get the advent calendar. So I managed to get this and I'm gonna put that because I think it will go really well with this one here. Now I'm not gonna put my foundation on before. I am gonna swatch these later on. Obviously I'm in a rush to go and see my dad, but I will put the swatches here. Okay, so I'll put them in later on, but you, you'll have seen them already. Um, I'm just going to get on, so I'm going to put on my, my eyeshadow first today before I do any of my base. The reason being that my eyes were very sore yesterday. They've calmed down a little bit now. But what happened was I put my base on yesterday and my eyes kept watering and I kept having to reapply concealer and it started to look really cakey. So I thought... Today I'm just going to put my eye makeup on first, let my eyes do their whatever they've got to do, water, let it calm down and then I shall put my base on and I'll come back to show you the finished look with my base on. But you actually want to see what these look like performing on the eye. So I'm going to fast forward to the eye look now, okay? So that is the palette there, I'll just zoom in okay okay I think this is the perfect palette for when you're in a rush because it's quite a straightforward color story I don't think it's necessarily that unique I think if you want to get a better um, value palette you could get um, you could get 
Charlotte Darling or you could get um, I think the Bella Sophia one of those which is a very similar color story um, and you can get double the amount for two pound less but let's see because I haven't tried this yet and I at the time of me doing this I haven't even swatched them so I'm just gonna put this on this is copper light color chameleon so I'm going to take that and then I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to put the enhanced shade, this one here, into the socket. Hmm. Let's try that again. Not awfully pigmented. Now I do feel that this formula is slightly different. It doesn't feel awfully pigmented. Let's go in again with that enhanced shade. Right, put some on the other side. And this is going on top of a colour chameleon as well. So I would have expected this to go on a bit a bit more than it has. Let's see how the shimmer shade applies. Because I'm going to put that on with my finger. Right, and I'm going to take that with a smudge brush and put that same colour, the enhanced shade, underneath. Applies a little bit better with the smudge brush. A little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go in with. Um, I'm going to put this one on first. Am I? No, I'm going to put this one on first with my finger over that colour chameleon. The formula feels quite dry, which is what makes me think that it might actually be better if you wet it. I'm going to do that for you in a second. Pretty. Right, I'm just going to get a flat brush and I'm going to try applying that wet and see what happens. Okay, I've put some on a flat brush and I've wet the brush. Yeah, I think these look a bit more flattering wet. You see, that's the wet side. That's the non-wet side. Definitely think they work better wet. Right, let me just do the other side to match up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the gold, again making sure that I wet the brush. And I'm going to take that I want a bit of eye brightening this morning. Right, let's see how the smoke shade performs. I'm going to actually take the smoke shade with the smudge brush. I'm not going to wet the brush because I just want to pop this in the corner. really doesn't seem to be applying that well. It just feels very, very dry. 
let me just show you what I mean so I've just packed some on the smudge brush and that's this shade here just doesn't seem that pigmented normally what I like to do is pack it on in the corner and then blend it out but it's actually not packing it on that much which is great if you just want colours to blend really easily but they're all going to merge very quickly into one colour I'll just quickly blend that out with my blending brush and again just because I want to link up that smoke shade I'm going to take the smoke shade and take that a little bit down as well now we haven't used the private shade at all yet so I'm going to take some on my finger and dot that in the middle that's quite nice now that one went on quite well with the finger let's see how well it goes on with a smudge brush when I put it in my to highlight my brow bone yeah that one doesn't that one isn't as difficult it's a bit more pigmented that one which is good so if you apply this as a prime shade which I didn't do at the beginning this one's gonna work well and I'm gonna put some of that in here again I'm just gonna see what this looks like if I wet this and put that in there just to give it a bit more of a pop see like that take it a bit bit below bit below okay I'm going to use the double ended eyeliner so that you see that as well you know that I reviewed that a few weeks ago I wasn't overly impressed but so that you can see what it looks like as a set I will put on the um, the double ended exaggerize eyeliner okay this is what it comes in and is it called exact it was called exaggerize I had to just check then so the reason I, I just had to press quite hard and it didn't really last very long in my waterline but I want to see what this looks like with this eyeshadow so let's go Okay, and now I'm going to put the other side into the waterline. Actually, this isn't applying badly this morning. Maybe because my eyes are quite dry. And they haven't been watering too much. I do like the concept of there being a black 
or a brown is it black it's black yeah black one side and a, a kind of more one for your waterline the other side this is what they look like there okay so it, it's probably looking a bit weird at the moment because I haven't got any face makeup on so I'm gonna go and put my mascara on do my brows put on my base and I'll be right back when it's all done so that you can see what the finish look like looks like okay okay I'm back and this new lipstick just arrived and concealer which I'm delighted with and I'll tell you all about those products later when I meet you for my live at New Year at 7.30 this evening. Hope you can join me. It's going to be a get ready with me um, where you can bring stuff that you feel too self-conscious about wearing any other time of the year. And I'm going to talk through tips and tricks with you all. Now, as far as concluding on this eyeshadow palette, it's pretty, it's nice. I don't think it offers anything new. And if I'm totally honest, I would say that if you have got £42, I would rather get the Bella Sophia palette, which is going to look very similar. It's going to be double the amount. And you also have a pop shade, which this doesn't. Um, that's my honest opinion. I would definitely get the Bella Sophia any day over and above this. And I don't think... That you would miss out because the Bella Sophia has got the pop shade but it's very pretty and if you're a collector like me it's nice to have in your collection what more is there to say okay I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you all very soon I'm off to see my dad now take care love you all Mwah. see you later